Hey guys, it's Brendan Borman, back for another 270 video. Today, taking on Henry Wallace. This is my um, third time playing Henry in this tournament. Um, he will be represented by Shirley Chisholm. I'll be playing as Barack Obama. Instead of starting off in New York like I have the previous two times, I'm going to start in the classic Old South. And that's actually where I thought Shirley was going to go because that's what she has been doing. But instead, she pivoted to Florida. And um, looks like I'm going to go ahead and get the Old South uncontested on turn number two. Um, I'm somewhat tempted to block swing states. I'm thinking about going into Wisconsin. Um, maybe if she goes the Ohio, Pennsylvania, or the Ohio, Wisconsin, New Mexico route, or if she goes maybe a Pennsylvania, Wisconsin kind of combination. Anyway, um, she did not. Um, and so I'm going to go into New York, which there is a potential for a clash here. There's also a chance that she could go um, into Utah, Massachusetts. The previous two times that I've played Shirley, um, she was preemptive in defense of that town and gown when I did have New York uncontested. So um, I don't really have to spend my Old South. I definitely can defend with it later, or I can expand into South Carolina now to give me a chance to um, go up if I need to. If she just goes in one state like a Virginia but she does not. She is, of course, getting that swing state bonus, just like we talked about earlier with the Ohio, Wisconsin, New Mexico route. We did clash in New York, and so I definitely want to make it a priority to spend 300 k in New York because with the swing state bonus, she cannot this turn. So that will give us full control of that state. Now, we might have to defend it later. But looking at Shirley, she has a pretty interesting character. Um, she does have an oil bonus as well as her, of course, 40% African-American bonus. She is pressuring us now in Michigan and Virginia, so some high-tech action. I'm going to try to get Town & Gown, although I'm going to open up in Arizona as well as um, possibly going to New Mexico, possibly going to Iowa. I've got 23,000, maybe one more. Town and Gown State. I'm going to go Delaware and District of Columbia. That will allow me to maybe get African American a little bit easier down the line. And of course, the 10K in DC will count toward Town and Gown should we need it. Okay, so she does pivot over to California. And it looks like we've got some clashes going on in the Old South. So I'm going to go up to the third pip in New York. And we get Utah and Massachusetts uncontested, although she does steal Virginia. That does net us the Town and Gown bonus. So we do um, swap out the Old South for the Town and Gown bonus. It's still one bonus apiece. Okay, so we are facing pressure. Um, you know, I could pivot to high tech. I could pivot to African American. I'm going to open up in New Hampshire, open up in Iowa, and then I'm, I'm going to... I'm thinking about leaving Arizona alone. Um, most players tend to gravitate toward Arizona, and Shirley, in this case, being played by Henry, um, has shown a track record to spin in Arizona. And so I am going to try to get the African-American bonus through the Old South and by also kind of expanding my reach. Let's see what Shirley does here. She does move up into Illinois. So she also, maybe thinking we were coming in Michigan, has her eyes on the AA bonus. The preemptive defense in Utah did not work, but it was just town and gown money. Makes it a little bit harder for her to steal in the future. I now have a 162 and a half African American bonus every turn. Um, I definitely need to get into Illinois. Um, Looking at my town and gown, she could try to steal Massachusetts. I think that I'm going to go one. I'd like to go zero or two. Um, going to open up in some more African-American states for the most part. I think that I'm probably pretty safe in the Old South this turn. She just has that one pip in California, so she really can't net any major bonuses. Um, I might just try to get ahead of her in New Hampshire 
If she doesn't go fully into Arizona, that could be a state where um, I can steal a New Hampshire fully. Okay, let's see what happens. So she's possibly making a play at the oil and gas bonus very soon. Massachusetts is left alone, but she now she does pressure in North Carolina. No action in Tennessee or, Mich or in um, Illinois for her. Okay, so now we have 667000 to her 589000 This is the first turn that, that New York is really in play. Um, she has not made a gutsy play like that in the past, but I want to make sure I use my town and gown money in New York if I do defend. So I'm going to go up in Tennessee, kind of eyeballing Michigan for high tech, but um, – that would require me to also get New Hampshire, not lose Massachusetts, not lose Utah. Um, just kind of playing around. This is something that you can do as a strategy to like map it out. And, and it does not work in one minute timers. So thankfully, this is a three minute timer. Um, I'm going to go the safe route. So I'm not facing any kind of pressure in um, either of Connecticut or in Washington. So instead of risking it in Michigan where we could have a clash and that could be a waste of money for me, um, I'm going to go up in Pennsylvania, try to get that high-tech bonus, and then instead of defending the South, just a last second um, advance into Arkansas to keep the old South should she flip a couple AA states like Georgia. Um, no action like that so far. Louisiana remains uncontested. Pennsylvania is a big one we do get. And so that should net us with Washington and Connecticut the high-tech bonus. So turn number eight is complete, even though it's close in electors, 217 to 204. I do like where we stand in this match. I'm going to open up into Florida. That way I am in all of the big states with the exception of Texas. And I'm going to go ahead and use my high-tech money just to put some pressure in California. Um, she is only on the first pip. And if I can kind of get there before she pressures me again in um, a different state, then that would be really good for me. Um, I'm thinking that if I'm her, I might use my swing state money in either Pennsylvania, North Carolina, or I'm using my town and gown to maybe defend with um, in New Hampshire. Looks like a very um, big aggressive move in Massachusetts. Will that take away my high-tech money? I think it probably will, especially, yeah, so especially now that she flipped um, Pennsylvania. So unfortunately for her, the only bonus I really lose is that high-tech bonus, and I can still double pip into California and get that right back. Now, um, in hindsight, um, I really didn't play this very well. Um, I have New York and I have Illinois, and I have, I'm going to possibly get California, but I'm missing one more Latino state to get that bonus. So I'm not in Colorado or New Mexico, and I didn't, I kind of gave up on Arizona. So I could pip once into Nevada um, to get that Latino bonus next turn, but I'm going to low spend. Okay, we do lose North Carolina because of it. So even though I just used my Old South money there, um, now she has a commanding lead electorally. Again, not really worried about it. Um, okay, so now that I have a big money advantage, it's possible that I can flip both of California and Florida, which would be huge. I'm going to open up in Nevada just in case, but assuming that I keep Illinois... I'm going to go ahead and close off Iowa. Assuming that I, um, I get Florida and I get California, that'll net me not only the high-tech bonus, but the export bonus. It'll give me the ag bonus, I believe. Um, let's just see here.
Okay, so fortunately for us, she does not have enough money for a ballot push, um, although we are really close. Got quite a few electors locked in. And now we are the ones over the 270 marks. So that's Latino, high-tech, ag, and export. Big turn for us. We are now up to seven of the 10 state bonuses. Oil is still up for grabs. Of course, Obama and oil do not go um, very well together. However, I'm just going to enter into all of the open states. We might clash. It might force a ballot. It doesn't really matter to me at this point. I'm going to use my Latino to preemptively defend in Nevada and in New Jersey. I have a bunch of high-tech money. Again, she only is sitting at less than 400000 so um, there's not much that she can do. I could try to flip uh, Michigan at this point. Illinois, I'll just play a little bit of defense. And if she only can go, let's see, 250 there. Swing. Okay. So going to move up one pip in a few states just in case. And I'll use my high tech in Connecticut. And I think 13 seconds. That'll just about do it. Um, as she won't go for Utah. I'll wait for next turn. Okay, so no action, no money spent. She did say this might be the end of the game. Um, oh, did I not lock in enough votes? Oh, no. That's okay. Um, another turn equals more money for us. Going to enter into Texas. Going to possibly close out Florida. Um, I'm in all the other states. Going to defend in New York and in California. That leaves me with not a whole lot of moolah left, but even if she wants to spread out across the map, um, she's going to face another turn of my wrath. So I'm going to go to the third pip in a lot of these oil and gas states, and even though it's just 28k bonus, I'm going to try to get that bonus. Now I'll defend um, Utah. Okay, she did spend. Closed off Colorado and New Mexico. Fairly low spin for her, though, so we should not have a problem. Oh, she does flip Washington, so good play by her. But it's 341 to 197. There's the oil bonus. There is the ballot. And looking at where she is. Not nearly as far across the map as I am. I'm going to go ahead and go look look at all these states. I have one pip and just go to the second pip. Um, I'm tempted to just go either one or four in um, Indiana and Kentucky. One would be like if she, if she just leaves it alone, I can steal it or just not waste that much money. Four is almost guaranteed that I get it. Um, but I settle on three. Why not? That gives me... I, I'm not, I keep talking about it, and I just don't do it. I should split those states. That way I possibly only lose one. But anyway, it's just a habit. Going through, I'm going to try to flip Michigan. Um, I have a little bit of town and gown money left. Um, I don't think she's anywhere. No. So I'll just spend it in Missouri and Michigan. Or Minnesota, I'm sorry, in Missouri. Not Michigan. So no action Alabama. Hold in Alaska and a clash in Arkansas. It's now just a matter of how much I win by. But good game. Good game, Henry. Um, if this is you, please uh, mention me in either the lounge or the comment section of this video. You've given me some really great games, and I don't know who you are. But... Um, you will pick up on my tendencies, I'm sure, and I hope you enjoy watching this video back. There's no shame in losing a tournament match. We do steal Texas. But I'd like to also thank everyone for tuning into this video. Um, make sure that if you do want to support the channel, you like and subscribe to at 270 videos. And um, feel free to interact with myself, Brendan Borman, in the lounge. And be on the lookout for future videos. If you want... If you have a suggestion for more content, holler at me. And until next time, this is Brendan Borman saying thank you and have a good one.